morning some clouds over that way today's a little bit different we got my little man coming to the farm <laughs> what are you gonna do are you gonna come on the tractor on the tractor i feel really lucky that i can bring isaac to work um we're just looking at the costs of like childcare and stuff and it's just absolutely gone through the roof um so Grandma Debbie's going to look after uh, him today, along with me, a little bit. I'm going for a little ride on the tractor, I think. Or just sit on it at least. And um, yeah, it's nice, that, isn't it? That kids can come to work with me, sort of, at least, on the farm, in the same place. So I can just nip in and see you at dinner time and break time. Yeah! Um, today we're going to be. What are we going to be doing? Uh, Probably ploughing and drilling and getting some stuff fixed and things like that. So stay tuned, it's gonna be business. We've even got a Playmobil pretend Ooh. fence to play with. Do you like the tractor, what? Isaac? Wow. Look at them big places. <laughs> right, Daddy's off to work. It's fairly breezy today. I don't think we're getting any pre emergence sprays put on. Um, we have got a little bit of muck spreading to do, some more ploughing and drilling. So, um, yeah, first things first, I think I'll jump on the nine metre and see what we can do with this. Looks like some of these fellas will need a bit of hay, so maybe I'll sort that out. And he'll, um, I don't know, he'll got some friendly ones. Yeah, morning guys. I think you're just hungry, aren't you? You've not been fed yet. Um, yeah, I'll get some hay prepared so we can tip that in there, keep them happy. So I'm gonna go and get some hay. Well, I'm just having a quick look through my dirty windows at that uh, barley. Looks well, it's coming up nice now. Yeah, it's coming up nice, this barley. Um, it is a bit wobbly though, that's the only thing in the lines. It doesn't affect the crop or anything, just Affects out how it looks. And he's just been strawing up in there. It's been out of the way. Dad's just down here on the TM. Yeah? And I'm just going to put his bail in for, uh, for these guys. So I'm just feeding some hay out now to these newer pe cattle. And they said people, them. Um, these aren't people, the cows. It's coffee time! Have I said morning to you, Andy? I don't think I have, have I? Yeah. Have I done it in video? People will not think I've said it then. Yeah. What do you reckon to Ash? <laughs> He's rung me today saying, if you want me to come and create you some more content, I'll, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll happily come down. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Ten people that maybe didn't see, um, Ash got stuck around a girder. Literally. Literally stuck. And like, do you know what, there were some people commenting Andy saying, oh, you just, it's easy to get out of that, you just need to put your bucket down and then turn your wheels. Mm. There were no putting your bucket down, were there? Because the mud guard was against the girder. So like, if you'd have turned, it was turned all the way around to the right. And like, the only way you could turn is to the left. And you would have put the... Mud guard into the girder. So we needed to lift the back end of the tractor up and twist it. We got we got there anyway. It worked well, didn't it? Yeah, it did work quite well, yeah. Yeah. And we put it on so that the like so that the front end couldn't slip because we put it in the corner of the bucket, didn't we? And yeah, anyway, we got it we got it out. We've got a little bit of damage. <laughs> <laughs> We're having Andy's um, review of the tractor. You and my dad were loving the joystick the other day. Oh, your dad was. Oh, is it my dad? Yeah. Oh. I like the position a bit closer. Yeah. Well, then he says when he's ploughing, it's like getting in his way. Mm. So he needs to twist his seat. Every tractor we get in, at Andy's been in, the seat's twisted. Do you run? Do you run your seats twisted or like straight? Yeah. I put mine. I think I have mine straight all the time. Yeah. I think. Even when you're like working behind, you have it straight. Turn the body on it or whatever. Yeah, but it's just like 
Like so you will have yours turned to the right, if I'm and then do you have to turn it back, turn it back to the left when you're going back the other way? No, it's always looked that way because that's where my controls are, isn't it? For plowing. Yeah. I'm always looking to the right plowing and hedge trim, and I twist it to the left because I'm looking that way. Uh, I just leave mine straight. I just move my body. The John Deere seat doesn't move as well as a New Holland seat. A New Holland's actually got a knee place where you can actually go right around. <laughs> <laughs> when you used to be able to buck brake, you used to be able to buck brake like that. All the way and you could, you could buck brake with your throttle with your left, left foot. You can drive a tractor backwards. Oh, yeah. yeah, M's fancy tractor that she went to see. Mm -hmm. The Valtra. Right. So M's getting the straw blower dropped off. Me and Andy are just sorting the mix out. And we're going to have the, um, the mill on. For a start. So Andy's off with the plough now. I'm gonna be following him on a drill. So I'm just leaving the farm now. Uh, Em's gonna be doing some milling. And yeah, like I say, you'll see how close I'm gonna be to Andy all the time because it might rain in a minute. So I've got to the field. This is the one where. Oh, of course, it's not gonna, not gonna focus, but the cows are in the background there. Uh, this is where the forager broke down in here. People will watch that video. And Andy should be over the right hand side of the field and we'll be uh, catching up to him soon. So he's right up there. And what we're, uh, what we're doing is, if it's going to rain, which it says it's going to, Andy won't have a lot ploughed in front of me and I will just drill up to where he's ploughed. And then as soon as the conditions come back right, it'll be ploughing up drier soil. Rather than if we let the ploughing get wet, it could become a bit of a sloppy mess. So that's what we're, uh, we're on with today. So I've just um, put all my markers down, undone all them. We should be about ready to get set off. And it's right down the far end, look. Works up nice, this soil, so it doesn't need any extra power harrowing. It's real fine stuff. Like, just break it with my hands, so it doesn't need anything extra. One time over is fine. We've just got to this end. I've opened my drill back up to full width because I had it on half. And now we've just got Andy coming down here, plowing. And he's having to work his way around the uh, the metal pole that sticks up. I think it's like a drainage thing or something. Bit of a pain. Could have took a swipe to the sides really, but anyway. I'll sort it with the power harrow. And he's stopped, I'm not sure what's quite happened. Quite nice that tractor. Yeah, it looks nice there. My dad's fetched Andy some bits for the plow now. Looks like they're just changing them. So give me a chance to uh, to catch him up now. Impressive from up here looking down is all the roots. Are the mazes left. Jeez, oh Lord, it almost looks like muck. There's that many root structures, that much. I thought we'd have a look, see how Andy's getting on. It's a bit of a, bit of a it looks really straight from the side. It's not, it's not bad to be honest at all. But when I was going up and down, I thought, oh, he's got a real straight line there. But then um, it's got a bit of a curve in it. But this headland over here has got a curve in it, so he's, he's always gonna be chasing it. It's a difficult one, that, and it's a difficult one, isn't it? Nightmare of a field. This has got so many sides. It's unreal. In fact, I can show you my GPS. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? How many sides on there? I don't know. I won't even want to count. I've just had my dinner delivered. Um, I'm sort of catching Andy up, so I'm just slowing it down a little bit. 
Uh, if it starts to rain, I'll soon speed up. So yeah, it's working well. Running nice. Running out of seed though. Andy's just ploughing out this um, little section here now. So I'm doing a tactical here. So I need some seed and I'm going to be waiting for a couple of minutes. So I'm just letting me yogurt and then I'm going to do all these short ones because it'll take me longer to run the seed out and these short ones and the long ones. And also, the machine's a lot lighter for picking up and turning around on the ends when it's not full of seed. So look, I ain't got much left. But we might have enough to do a few of these short runs. And that's what I love about GPS. I can just drill in any part of the field. I don't have to keep going up and down this one side. I can do it over there if I want to or wherever I want. So I'm just getting that spun round. Then you'll be plowing it all back into there. And then you'll go back up to there and continue the field uh, up at that end. If you understand what I mean. There he is, look. Sorted. It does look funny with that little bit off the front wheel. A little bit of pain just going round and round. There we go. Right, my dad's fetched me some more seeds, so I'll get that sorted now. In this wind, up on the canopy. Uh oh, it's started raining now, and I've got some headlands to do, and Andy's getting further away from me. Two o'clock, I've got um, a Teams meeting with AHDB and Ollie and a few other people. So, um, can I do a Teams and keep working? I don't know. Or do I have to stop? What's the etiquette on this? I'm guessing you have to stop, but um, if it's raining, I think I might have to keep going. Because ah! <laughs> I like helping the industry out. Doing my social media, it's like my new hobby, like doing making these videos. I quite enjoy doing it. I enjoy people commenting and all that kind of business. But it's this right here, this work that pays the bills. This growing at the right time that pays the bills. Um, as much as I would love it to help pay the bills, social media doesn't. Um, so I need to crack on and get the little bits done, don't I? Get them in. My bread sorted. I'm on it. It's raining a fair bit now. So I've just got Andy to stop while I just catch up to him. And then I'll get him started again. Um, just so he's bringing up dry soil and I can drill into dry soil rather than letting this get wet and paddle it. So we're getting wet bonnet now. Andy's just got back, back started. See the difference? This is wet. That's dry that he's fetching up. That's the beauty with plough combination uh, drilling. You can go when it's wetter because um, you can bring that dry soil up and drill into it uh, where you can't really do that with mint till and, and all them others that I know of anyway. Or if I'm talking rubbish, let me know in the comments. Oh, it's on another level now. It's, uh, yeah, really getting wet. Look at my tyres. How long me and Andy gonna be able to keep continue doing this? It's getting wet. So as you can see, I'm right up behind Andy now. Um, I'm hoping this stops in a minute. Otherwise, we might have to stop. It's, it's still going all right. I think I'm just getting a bit too nervous too soon, I think. I think we'll be all right for a bit. I'd caught Andy up, so now it's me chasing him. Oh, the fun. Andy's just getting away from me now.
absolutely hammering it down. My dad's come to take me off for 45 minutes while I do the uh, Zoom call or whatever it is, Microsoft Teams. It's wet. I've done the Teams Zoom meeting thing in my job with uh, AHDB and um, yeah, next Wednesday, eight o'clock, like me, Ollie, Tom Pemberton, Charlotte Ashley, um, I can't remember the name, somebody from Boots and Heels, um, Georgina. Yeah, there's gonna be quite a few of us. I think there's like eight of us going and we're gonna be doing a live stream um, on uh, at eight, at eight o'clock. Eight of us at eight o'clock, if I can remember. I'm trying to remember all this information you see here. It just goes in one ear and sometimes comes out the other, but sometimes gets caught inside. And um, yeah, it should be fun. I think, I'm not really sure what we're gonna be talking about. It's like problems that we face in farming. And like people will be able to send their questions in and we'll try and answer them and yeah i think there should be a, quite a buzz about it i think we're gonna have a takeaway and do all that and then maybe when it's all done we might go to the pub after and have a have one after as well that would be a good one so yeah stay tuned to that it should be good for fun i'm looking forward to it anyway i am really looking forward to it so um right i've got to go back up to uh, the farm now in the time that I was doing this uh, meeting, my dad ran out of seed, so um, yeah, he's gone back up to the farm, and Andy's still ploughing, and I'll need to catch him back up, so yeah, back on it. I guess. And I'm hoping he's left me. It's a bit slippy and slidey in here. I'm hoping he's left me enough uh, room to get out of the field. Oh, I'm back in the yard now, just jumped in the cab. M is milling. Um, not where she, sure where she's gone, but she's on the TM, filling the mill up, keeping that going. I've got a fling full of seed now, so we're ready to go. Andy's just getting the last headland done. I've got a fair bit left to do in here though. Well, there's a the cow's look. Nice to see him coming up to see us, I think, or I feel like they are. Here's a view into the World War II um, anti-aircraft artillery camp base thing that we call the gun pits. So people have stored kept pigs in there before and I think there's somebody stored wood in there. Yeah. So about four or five little units like that. Now it's just a place where kids hang out and graffiti and Wow. Uh, there were some kids there earlier really, and I'm thinking, uh, into school today, maybe? And there's like five kids in there. Anyway. Whatever. I'm just going over the fur bottom, trying to level this hole out here uh, without any seed, because I'm pretty much run out of seed now, so I've turned it all off. And uh, my dad's on his way with some more. Oh, hopefully should be here any minute soon. And he's here look. I'm totally ready for it. Completely empty. So the sun is setting, the birds are flying. Oh, it's the beauty of the beast. Got the long shadows. I look like 15 foot tall. Um yeah, this is the last run and then I'm done. I've just got out to check on some more of these guys that have come to see us. How we doing? Hey? They're looking good. Don't look like they're struggling for uh, for grass at the minute either. This part in front of her is normally all flooded. Just a dry year that we've had. We'll fetch them in it next month or so. But yeah. Friendly enough anyway. Right, I'm off home. Back to the farm. It is getting a bit dark, so I'm hoping you can see this. But we've got a special birthday mention for Gillian Walton. Um, so birthday today. Uh, last time that I saw Gillian, I was helping her out with some cattle because she got a flat tyre uh, in the lorry. So we put them on the cattle onto my lorry and then got them to the, to the place that they needed to be. So I hope you've had a better day today for your birthday than you did that 
time, I don't know, how long ago was it? It's probably like seven or eight months ago, something like that, I think. Something like that, anyway. But, um, yeah, happy birthday, Gillian, and thank you very much for donating to the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. It really does help save lives. Business. Here we go. We can see it a bit better now. So that's the end of the video, guys. If you have liked it, please remember to press that like button and uh, subscribe if you've not already. And, um, yeah, Andy and my dad are just fixing a bearing for the plow we'll be back on we're doing that yes yesterday gosh it's getting too tired tomorrow um hopefully i'm going to the pub with mr b tonight don't know it might be happening might not be happening but um if it is i might do a live so if you subscribe and you rung the little bell you get a notification and um you'll be able to join in on the fun so um yeah thanks for watching we'll see you later bye